Hey everyone, hope you are doing well. Uh, welcome to Smart Tech guys. Today I came again with one more video about Canon printers. Right now with me uh, one machine, Canon Multifunction. Uh, this is multi-purpose machine, fax, copier, scanner. Uh, the model number is uh, of this printer 8230CN. I will show you the picture of the printer later on. Uh, just I will tell you what is the problem exactly in that printer. It's when we give the command for print or copy, it shows uh, paper jam error. Okay, uh, actually the feeder roller is rotating but not picking up the paper. So in the dashboard, it's showing paper jam. I will tell you today how to fix it at home. It's very easy. You should not take uh, it to any uh, service center or uh, to get more spend more money on it you can fix it at home uh, we, we will I will tell you step by step how to fix this uh, the feeder roller actually uh, after many times uh, when you use it for a long time with the kind of dust or some um, carbon inside the, on the rubber it's unable to pick the paper so this give the paper jam error there are two rollers basically inside one is feeder roller and then second is separation roller so both we will fix it and we will clean it and I will tell you uh, exactly how you can uh, how you will be able to fix this okay first of all we have I will show you uh, what is the error exactly later on I will tell you shortly we will bring the printer in service mode then we will rotate the feeder roller after rotate the feeder roller we will remove the feeder roller outside and we will clean it or replace it after see the condition then we will fix back it again and check so come with me i will rotate my camera and show you what is the problem exactly and how we're gonna fix it today okay guys stay with me yes guys this is the machine canon okay i will show you the model this is the model mf8230 cn okay i will give copy command from here okay it's starting the copy Okay, guys, you can see paper jammed. Okay, it didn't pick the paper, and this error error light is blinking. If I will remove the drawer, okay, you can see it didn't pick pick the paper. So uh, I will tell you how to fix it. First of all, I will uh, we have to bring the printer in service mode. There is a uh, hold on. I show you the pickup roller uh, where is it located exactly. And what we're gonna uh, do today hold on yes guys uh, i removed the drawer paper drawer or paper tray you can see this is the feeder roller okay uh, this is not picking up the paper and this is separation roller okay we have to uh, remove from here and uh, i will see either it can be cleaned or we should replace it so we cannot remove this feeder roller until we will rotate it it will come like this here and there will be a two locks on the two both sides we will remove uh, the feeder roller so rotate the feeder roller we have to bring the printer in service mode so uh, now i will tell you from the dashboard or panel front panel we will see how to rotate the feeder roller while after the rotate then we will remove it okay so i will uh, put it back again and uh, i will tell you how to rotate it with the service mode if you will push it by force it can damage the drive so be careful no need to pull like this no need to pull like this okay we will rotate it through service mode okay guys stay with me okay guys uh, to bring the printer in service mode to rotate the feeder roller we have to bring it in service mode okay follow the steps here this is the menu button okay press the menu button Okay, then press 2, 8, then again menu button. Okay, you can see printer is in service mode now. From here, guys, select copier, first option, copier, and then fourth option, you can see function. Go to the function, and the second last option, VIFFNC. Click on it, 
okay you can find other menu here you will see fdr chg feeder change the short form fdr chg press ok it's it's executing so now it's rotating okay and it's rotated already uh, i will repeat the steps go back again to bring the printer in service mode you have to press the menu button this function may apply on all series 8000 series canon multifunction printer you can bring in service mode like this press the menu button then 2 8 then again menu button okay then copier from copier function from function go to vif and then fdr change press ok so it's rotated already i will remove the power cord then i will remove this feeder roller i will turn it off and show you uh, it's rotated the feeder roller then we will remove the feeder and we will fix the feeder roller okay guys hold on let me turn it off and we'll see now okay as you can see it's rotated now these locks are visible before it was not visible these two locks from left and right side pull out from with both hands okay guys with both hands uh, i am holding my camera i will put my camera on the right side then i will i will pull these two locks then this feeder will come outside hold on i will use a tweezer or long nose to pull it out yes with the use of screwdriver i pull these two locks out okay and we will remove this okay, guys i removed the feeder roller you can see in my hand and the condition is very bad you can clean this feeder roller okay or i will tell you another way we can use the other side this is the, the side is is the inside is still new we will open it and use the side okay the same way we will remove this separation roller separation roller you can see here here's the lock of separation roller separation roller also you can with the help of screwdriver we will remove it okay, let me remove and i will show you Okay, uh, there are two locks one is here and second is here okay with the help of screwdriver uh, with the help of screwdriver we will we will remove this rubber okay you can see from here also Guys, you will see if you have the new rubber to replace the new one. Okay, you can see, guys, this side is totally uh, used now, it's very mm, you can say very soft or not rubbing. Okay, it should be rub, okay, but it's not rubbing it's very soft so it will not pick the paper it will hardly pick the paper but the other side you can see it's still new okay guys uh, I will clean uh, this all okay then we will the size the side this didn't use before we will put on the front to pick the paper well okay guys and you can say if it was like this before it was like this before right it's not picking the paper so this side we will bring here okay we will bring this side here then this is the new side we will pick the paper you can see this is the new side still didn't use so i will clean it first with the, i have uh, one lube here in wd40 you can find it easily in the market or with some water then here one close with the help of this cloth okay you can see we will clean this
the separation roller I also uh, removed but if you don't want to remove the separation roller you can uh, clean it uh, inside no issue this is the separation roller we will clean it if you find the both rubber in the market you can change the rubbers replace it well otherwise just clean it yeah, I cleaned it okay now we will fix the side we'll fix it the size didn't use before like this okay guys we'll put back again this lock okay and make sure that it's fixed well lock it's fixed well okay and the side the side is in the front now it's new didn't use before okay guys this side is did not use before so now we'll go back to the printer and we will fix it in the printer then we will check it's picking the paper or not like this also we can one time more one time more i will clean it it's a good grip can clean it again Okay guys, after we fix it again to the printer, then we will see. Okay guys, we fix back the separation roller. Now we will fix it back again. Okay, you can see it's the side is new. Okay, and make sure that the correct way insert it inside the correct way. And there is the locks actually. Okay, there is a lock. It should be pressed like this. Okay don't uh, push more just uh, lock in the correct place then it will fix well okay guys now uh, there is one paper sensor here also i will i have the spray contact cleaner i will spray here one little uh, spray for clean the sensor so guys now i will turn it uh, on we will put back again the paper I will turn it on and will show you either it's picking the paper or not. <coughs> I repeat some steps again. This is a feeder roller and this is a separation roller. Separation roller, no need to take it out. Just clean it inside or if you can remove it easily, just remove it. Okay. <coughs> this is a tray sensor uh, and this is a feeder roller. Feeder roller we removed. As I mentioned earlier that we will rotate it. We will rotate it from the service mode and then uh, we will remove this from there are two locks here okay after clean it fix it back again with very uh, carefully don't break anything okay if you are doing first time now we will check our printer is uh, picking the paper or not okay guys i put the paper inside we we'll fix the tray i will turn it on okay it's booting up now we will see let it boot. Okay, the black tuner is low, just ignore it, continue printing. Okay, I will give the command. as you can see no more paper jam i didn't print anything just i want to see that it's picking the paper or not and let's pick the paper very fine i will check again one more paper <coughs> to make sure that it's picking the paper well now there is no more paper jam error hope you understand the method very easy uh, any canon printer multi-function mf series the same process uh, you have to follow okay don't uh, care about the model if i have i'm showing the model 8230 if you have another model 8030 8040 any 8000 series the same process you have to do to rotate the pickup roller and clean i'm copying the second paper to make sure that there is no error 
no hurdles hey guys uh, this is our overview of uh, that machine canon multifunction with fax all in one if you have paper jam or change fader roller you can do this process if you have any question guys you can ask me in the comment box i will reply your queries and hope you understand the method and don't forget to subscribe my channel this this printer is printing bit delay because sometimes calibrating the tuners so it's a normal the delay is normal so no need to worry about you okay guys here we can see second paper as again it's printed very fine so now guys let me say goodbye uh, i tried my best to teach you to train you with very uh, easy way and i am pretty sure that you understand the method and if anyone have confusion to understand my language so uh just ignore it if any punctuations or if any uh, grammar error don't uh, uh, see, see this because uh, my language is I'm not native english so just the uh, main cause was to show you how to fix it and just understand it and learn take care guys bye